I, I had a slow start again. I was struggling to get the feel for the shots and uh, obviously I was too over par after six holes and uh, I was a little bit worried. But then I came to my good stretch and uh, I managed to make birdies on seven and eight. And I played really well after that. And uh, to make an eagle on uh, 16, that helps a lot and uh, finish off with a birdie. It's like, uh, what a beautiful day. But it, it was little, uh, I was a little worried after six really, because I know that if I have a bad start like that, I, it can go downhill. Many times uh, over the years when you have a bad start, it ends up really bad. And uh, it's always good to have these weeks when you have a bad start and you can uh, get back there and uh, play really well and have a good score. So I'm very pleased. And uh, um, so tomorrow it's a new day and uh, I just have to get those uh, first six holes <laughs> to, to a good start and uh, see what happens. Well, uh, the club, uh, I had a gap wedge on the 13 and uh, on the third hole I hit the gap wedge on the par 3. I pulled it left really badly. So now I miss it, the ball to the right, so I was plugged in the bunker. But uh, I was fortunate that I had a lot of green to work with. I had 20 yards. So I know that over the years that I hit it uh, steep on the ball, uh, on the sand, and it pops up. And it actually did that on the putt. I think that was a game changer. If I would have missed that putt, uh, I don't want to think about it. But this course suits my game. It's, uh, and I feel comfortable out there. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It will be a tough task. But I do my best.